Hi, I'm here to talk about WordPress search using Relevancy. Hello. In case you're wondering, Relevancy is Finnish for Relevance. It's a search plugin and comes in three variations. The original free version was released in 2009 and has over 100,000 active installations today. The premium version was released two years later and is used by 2,500 active licenses. The newcomer in the family is Relevancy Lite, which was released in 2020 and was developed based on an idea from Otto from Seravo. Given that it's an important topic today, here's the dictionary definition for relevance. We're going to focus on the useful part of this, because searchers are interested in useful results. That's the key. So, the aim of searching is to have the user find the documents they need. The perfect recall is easy to get. Just return all the posts. Every useful result is guaranteed to be included in that set of all posts. Of course, that's not a very good or useful solution for the user. Perfect precision is easy enough in theory. If we return all posts and only the posts that have the search term, we should be fine. However, that's not good enough in actual use. Getting lots of results that only include relevant results is fine, but most users don't actually want to get 100 results with perfect precision. Often the ideal case would be finding that one post that matches the topic as well as possible. Thus, what really counts is relevance, not pure precision or pure recall. Uh, when I was studying information retrieval, two fringe cases were always mentioned where strong recall is important. Law searches and patent searches. As it happens, a couple of weeks ago, a relevancy customer was asking about how to optimize for perfect recall in a law search. So apparently that does happen in real life as well. Here's how relevancy is going to help you in the quest for the perfect search results. To increase recall, you can include content in custom fields, taxonomy terms, inside PDF attachments. The default WordPress search excludes many relevant results because it does not look at every part of the post. To increase precision, you can remove unnecessary parts of the post from the search, adjust the search parameters and eliminate unwanted results. Finally, relevancy calculates a relevancy value for each post and displays the best results first. You can also modify these calculations and improve the results that way. To give you a concrete example how relevancy can make the search better, let's look at a premium feature called content stop words. Stop words are the useless little words that search engines want to skip when processing posts. Those little words that don't really mean much and appear many times in all posts. In general, these words are not needed in the search, but of course, sometimes they are super important. The Last of Us, for example, is one of those really annoying titles that are made of stop words only. If you search for The Last of Us, you'll find nothing because all the words are stop words. If you remove these words from the stop word list, you will find the post, but you will also find plenty of other posts. There's going to be a ton of noise in the results because these are very common words and relevancy will have a really hard time figuring out the best results. Relevancy Premium has separate stop words for titles and the rest of the content. You can use these stop words only for the post content. Now, when you search for The Last of Us, you'll only get posts where those words appear in the title. This will lead to much better results that improve both precision and recall, as you can find the posts in the first place and there won't be unnecessary posts included in the results. Let's take a look at how searching works under the hood. When we search in a database, we first need an index, which is a table where you can specify a record and get all the contents for it. In WordPress, that is the WP posts table. You can get the post contents based on post ID from that table. Efficient searching also requires what is called a reverse index. With a reverse index, you can have the content and then find out all the records that have that content. Relevancy provides this reverse index and we will call it just the index from now on. So, the relevancy index is just a database table with one row for each word in each post, listing the post ID, the word and how many times it appears in the post. Relevancy can then search for a word and get all the posts with that word. The downside of indexing like this is the space required. The index 
will be much larger than your post table is. This is the biggest downside of using relevancy, but mandatory for getting the good results relevancy provides. Now, relevancy knows which posts have the search term and how many times. For each post, relevancy then calculates these numbers. Term frequency is the number of times each word appears in the post. This is calculated in the indexing and stored in the relevancy table. If we look at here for the word account, we'll see that it appears in the document number three in the content three times. The word address appears four times and so on. Inverse document frequency is an inverse number for the times the word appears in the whole database. The rarer the word, the more valuable it is in the search. If a word appears in almost every post, it can't be very important, but if it only appears in one post, it is really important for that one post. So multiplying these together, we get the weight value for each word and each document. And this way we get the relevancy score for each post for a specific search query. We just sum the weights for each word used in the search. With relevancy light, the indexing and relevancy calculations are done by the database server. That's all term frequency and inverse document frequency, by the way. It's very fast, but also a black box. A query goes in and results come out and that's all you know. With relevancy and relevancy premium, we can adjust all the variables. Relevancy provides easy access to some of them with weight multipliers for different parts of the post and different post types, but you can also mess with the maths using filters and functions and you can change almost anything about it. Let's look at some ways relevancy can let you customize the search results. Relevancy gives you plenty of ways to adjust the search experience to suit the needs of your site just from the settings alone. The indexing settings cover the basics of what is included in the index. You can choose which post types are included, which taxonomies are considered, which custom fields are used and so on. The searching settings adjust weights and the ways the searching work. You can, for example, choose whether the default search operator is AND or OR. In an AND search, all search terms must appear in all documents, leading to more precise results, while in an OR search, it's good enough if the only one of the search terms appears, but it's better if more. This emphasizes recall. In addition to adjusting weights based on post types or taxonomies, you can also boost recent posts to give new posts a lift in the results. You can also introduce synonyms. This will make relevancy consider two words the same and will help your users better find what they need if there are multiple ways to refer to something. If you want to customize the search results, relevancy offers lots of tools for that. One of the most powerful is the relevancy hits filter, which is a real superhero filter hook. This filter hook is very simple. It gives you access to an array of posts relevancy has found. It then expects you to return the array back to relevance. Meanwhile, you are free to do anything you want with the array. With this simple hook, you can adjust the search results any way you want. It's easy to reorder the results, insert new posts, remove posts from the result, or even modify the post objects. After you've processed the results, relevancy will then paginate the results and pass the set of correct posts for a team to display. This is another very powerful filter hook. This hook lets you modify the post content when relevancy indexes the post. For example, somebody asked me if it's possible for relevancy to only index post titles and headings from the content. And sure it is. Just use this filter hook to remove everything but the headings from the post content. If you have menus or other static content like that in your pages, just take it out from the post before relevancy sees it. This is especially helpful with page builder teams like Divi. You can also read in data from outside the post and add it to the post before indexing. This gives you access to content you otherwise could not include in the index. Finnish language, in particular, is a nightmare when it comes to searching. Relevancy does not understand language at all. It's very literal and stupid. If two words are almost the same, but not quite, relevancy will consider them different words. That means relevant posts can remain unfound if the searcher does not use the exact term it appears in the post. A basic solution for this is stemming. 
Stemming returns each word to its basic form, the stem, and that way different word forms can be considered the same word when searching. This is really useful in Finnish, but can also be helpful in English and other languages. In 2020, I released an add-on plugin for Relevancy Premium that implements the Wemania PHP stemmer for relevancy. In proper open source spirit, I added the missing Finnish language stemmer myself. Stemmers have some problems. They can overstem, which conflates words with different meanings into the same stem. For example, universe and university are the same word for a stemmer. Or they can understem, which means that words that do mean the same do not get stemmed to the same stem for some reason. And for this reason, stemming increases the recall and reduces the precision. At least in Finnish, the increase in recall more than overshadows the loss of precision in my opinion. But of course there are always cases where precision is more important and stemming hurts more than it helps. But most of the time, it's a really good idea. Otto talked about performance and explained why full text indexing is good. If raw performance is important to you, go for relevancy light. That's guaranteed to be the fastest relevancy and is probably the fastest free search option for WordPress in general. Large database of posts can make relevancy slower, but the heavier part of is processing the posts found, as all those posts need to be loaded in memory. Going through 100 posts is fine, but processing 10,000 results is going to be slow and heavy. That's why we have the throttle. By default, relevancy only fetches 500 results per search term. This should be plenty, because who cares about more than 10 results anyway, and makes the result set more manageable. Uh, creating excerpts that show where the search terms appear in the posts is often the slowest part of the search. Excerpts based on word count are much faster to generate than excerpts based on character count. Relevancy can also optimize the process, which helps with long posts but reduces quality. Finally, it's always an option to disable the excerpts. That, this is a very important thing to do if you don't actually plan to use the excerpts at all. Having a smaller index helps. If you don't actually need the post content, excluding that from the index makes things faster and lighter. You can also remove other unnecessary content to make things go slightly faster. So why use relevancy then, if relevancy light is so much faster? Sometimes slower, but more customizable just is better. With relevancy, you have full control over the processes. You can control what goes in the index and you can control what comes out of the index. With Relevancy Premium, you also get access to a bunch of cool premium features. These include searching for attachment content, so you can get those PDF files and other documents included in the search, searching for user profiles, uh, there's a really nice related posts feature based on Relevancy Index. In some cases it's less than perfect, but with good source data, for example good taxonomy terms, this can be really good, provide really solid results with good performance and lots of control. And there's a redirect feature for making sure specific searches hit a specific result without a doubt. You can just redirect. If you're interested in relevancy, you can get the free version and the relevancy light from the plugin repository. Relevancy premium can be found at relevancy.com and you can use the coupon code Seravo to get a discount on the price. Thanks.